Hey guys and welcome to Smart Home Things, a channel dedicated to smart home automation. Today we'll talk about Homebridge. Homebridge is a service that can be installed, for example, on your Raspberry Pi and can be used to make your non-certified devices work in Apple Home. But first, I would like to say a great thank you for all of you watching. Uh, you give me a lot of energy for creating all those new movies. So please subscribe if you aren't already and let's get on with the video. Hey guys and welcome to this installation tutorial. Uh, today we'll be installing a home bridge on Raspberry Pi. So uh, I will guide you how to install a home bridge basically from fresh installation of uh, a Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, I will tell you how to uh, install Homebridge and how to uh, make it run on system boot. And don't worry, this will be easy. We'll do it in three simple steps. So uh, we will be doing all that uh, basically through terminal SSH window. So to connect to our Raspberry, we have to do some uh, some prerequisites. So go to your Raspberry Preferences and check your Raspberry Pi configuration. Go to the Interfaces tab and make sure your SSH is set to Enabled. Press OK and now go to your Terminal window. Here type in ifconfig and press Enter. You will see the init uh, section and here you will have your Raspberry Pi IP address listed. So copy that and basically you can log off from your Raspberry Pi. We are done here. We don't need to do anything more uh, directly on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, we'll be connecting to it uh, via SSH connection. I will be using the default Mac OS terminal uh, window and if you are not on a Mac and let's say Windows then you can use uh, software like Putty or something similar. Okay, so let's switch on terminal and here we use the command ssh pi at and your IP. So pi is the default username for Raspberry Pi and IP Address is what we just copied over from the ifconfig window. So press enter and enter your password. Okay, and we are logged in to our remote Raspberry Pi. Uh, if you are connecting for the very first time, uh, you will have to generate a security key by typing in yes. So this is the only difference. Okay now, so let's start the installation. We'll do it in three simple steps. Step one, install prerequisites. Step two, install Homebridge. Step three, make it, uh, make it run on system start. Okay, so step one, install prerequisites. So go to the Homebridge wiki page and there you have the installation part. Uh, in the installation part, you have uh, a section saying if you are running on Raspberry Pi you should look at the wiki. Okay, so uh, we need two things. We need to have Node installed and Linux dependencies. So first let's get Node. So go to this wiki page and in this wiki page we have the complete ins uh, installation tutorial. Okay, so first thing uh, let's uh, update our system. So update and let's see let's update all the uh, all the repositories and then let's do the upgrade to actually do the upgrade to get all the new uh, software. For me everything is fresh so I don't have to upgrade anything. For you it may uh, vary uh, sometimes it takes 10 minutes or more to get everything updated, so don't worry. Uh, just let it run and update your uh, Raspberry to, uh, to the newest software. 
So uh, here we have the install node part. Let's copy this code, command C, and paste it to the terminal, command V. So it already started doing things. So let's wait a minute or two for it to finish. Okay, the first part is done. As I copied two lines, now we have to uh, perform this uh, second command. So press enter. And now node is installing. Also give it a minute or two. Okay, this is done. So we are done with step one of the installation process uh, from this uh, wiki page. Now let's get the rest of dependencies. So copy this and paste. Press yes. Okay, so we are done with step one of this guide. It was easy, right? Okay, so now, believe it or not, we are starting with step two, and this is installation of Homebridge. So actually just copy this and paste it into the terminal window and press enter. And now we see node in action. It's installing uh, the Homebridge application for Raspberry Pi. Give it also a minute or two and we are done. So step two of this guide is done. We have Homebridge installed on our Raspberry Pi. Uh, and to test it, you can type Homebridge. And you will see that the Homebridge service is running. You can add this QR code to your uh, Apple Home app. And it will add uh, Raspberry uh, Homebridge to your Apple Home. Uh, currently it's empty, so there is not much sense to do that, but you can test if the uh, application is running. You should get this uh, QR code and this, uh, and this uh, pairing code, and you should get no errors inside. It's saying that it doesn't have the config.json file uh, inside. Well, it doesn't because uh, we have not uh, generated it yet so uh, and no plugins since we have not installed uh, plugins to see how you install uh, plugins go to my other video uh, now you can see a card on the top right so you can see that after this one okay so let's stop this uh, application P press Control c you see the uh, application is shutting down and it's shut down. So now it's time for part three of this guide and this is running your home bridge as a service on system reboot. So go back to this guide on how to install home bridge on uh, Raspberry and we can see that there is a paragraph saying running home bridge on boot up. So go there and basically just follow this guide. So let, let's just do that. Okay, and here we have a complete guide on how to make your home bridge run on system boot up. So basically it will be copy paste. So copy the first command. Uh, this will uh, create us a file uh, for the home bridge configuration. So copy this and press enter. And here we have a, a text editor running. And this command has this paste this gist. So let's open this and copy the whole contents inside the terminal window. And now press Ctrl X and press uh, Y and then, and then enter. So we have uh, this first part done. We have this file created. And now we have uh, to do step two. So copy this and paste it into the terminal window and press enter. And here we have to do the same thing. So open this and copy the contents into the terminal window. 
And now we have one more thing to do. Uh, the author of this, of this uh, guide is saying that he had to remove local from exec start. So I found out that uh, we will need to do this also uh, so this uh, guide works. So delete this local and basically press Ctrl X, press Y and press Enter. So we have the second step done. Now the third step is to create a user that will run the service. So command V and enter and we have the user created. Now we have to create a folder for home bridge and control command V, press enter and we have the directory created. Now we have the two commands uh, that are pretty much optional. If you had already a config file in your previous home bridge directory, then this copies this config file to the new uh, location. And the second command copies the persist folder also to, uh, to this new location. Uh, we will skip this because we are running on a fresh install and we have no config.json and we have uh, no persist folder because we don't have uh, we have not uh, yet uh, added any devices. So if I paste this, I will get an error that a file is not existing. Like this and probably the same for this one. Well, maybe it just created a directory. Okay, and now we have to change the privileges for this home bridge folder. So let's do that. This is what uh, hmod command does. So this is done. And now uh, we have to do stuff related to uh, this uh, system uh, control daemon reload. So let's paste that, enter. And now we have to enable Homebridge as a service. So let's do that. Command C, Command V created symlink, whatever that means, and now start home bridge. Okay, so hopefully we will not get any errors now. And this is done. To see the status of the service, copy this command, and hopefully this will also not give us any errors. So press enter, and we see that we have home bridge service active running. So this is really good. Uh, we are pretty much done, but let's check if this works after a reboot. So control C and let's type sudo reboot now. So now the Raspberry is rebooting. Let's see the virtual machine. It's rebooting. Okay, the reboot is done, so we should be able to uh, log in again. So let's try that. Okay, so we are in, and now let's check if the service is running. So paste the status home bridge command again, and we see that the service is running. So we made it working. So now we can add our config.json file and we can start adding uh, plugins. So as I said before, how to add plugins, you have that uh, video uh, on the top right. So this is it for how to install Homebridge on your freshly installed Raspberry Pi. So as I said, step one, prerequisites. Step two, install Homebridge. Step three, make it run at system boot. All the GitHub pages with the instructions are listed in the description. So remember to leave a comment. If something is not working, I will try to help. And basically that's it for now.
Okay, so this is how you install Homebridge and make it run at System Startup. So thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And see you in the next video. See ya.